Chickenpox is caused by the varicella zoster virus, VZV, and has likely been around for centuries. However, its first recorded description dates back to the late 17th century. In 1694, a British physician named Richard Morton provided one of the earliest clinical descriptions of chickenpox in his book, Pyrotologia. The term, chickenpox, is believed to have been coined in the early 18th century by another British physician, Richard Mead. The origin of the name is uncertain, but some theories suggest it was derived from the mildness of the disease compared to smallpox, or because the skin lesions resembled chickpeas. In the early 20th century, researchers determined that chickenpox and smallpox were distinct diseases. Later in the century, in 1958, the virus causing chickenpox was isolated by Thomas Weller, who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1954 for his work on culturing the polio virus. The chickenpox vaccine was developed in the 1970s by Michiaki Takahashi, a Japanese virologist, and became widely available in the 1980s and 1990s. The vaccine has significantly reduced the incidence of chickenpox, as well as the number of severe cases and complications associated with the disease. Chickenpox is a highly contagious disease caused by the varicella zoster virus, VZV. The infection spreads easily from person to person through the following routes. Respiratory droplets. The primary route of transmission for chickenpox is through respiratory droplets. When an infected person talks, coughs, or sneezes, they release tiny droplets containing the virus into the air. These droplets can be inhaled by people nearby, leading to infection. Direct contact. Chickenpox can also spread through direct contact with the fluid from the blisters or sores of an infected person. Touching the blisters or contaminated surfaces, such as bedding or clothing, and then touching one's face, particularly the mouth, nose, or eyes, can result in infection. Airborne transmission. In some cases, chickenpox can be transmitted through the air via tiny virus-containing particles called aerosols. These particles can remain suspended in the air for extended periods and be inhaled by people in the same room or even adjacent rooms. Mother-to-child transmission. Pregnant women who contract chickenpox can pass the virus to their unborn child, potentially leading to congenital varicella syndrome. Additionally, newborns can be infected during delivery if the mother has active chickenpox lesions. Once a person is infected with the varicella zoster virus, it takes about 10 to 21 days for the symptoms to appear. The infected person becomes contagious one to two days before the appearance of the rash and remains contagious until all the blisters have formed scabs, which usually takes about five to seven days. Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent chickenpox and its complications. The chickenpox vaccine has significantly reduced the number of cases and the severity of the disease in countries where it is part of the routine immunization program. Chickenpox is a viral infection caused by the varicella zoster virus, and it is characterized by a distinctive rash, along with other symptoms. The symptoms of chickenpox usually appear 10 to 21 days after exposure to the virus and typically include the following. Rash. The most recognizable symptom of chickenpox is a red, itchy rash that develops into small, fluid-filled blisters. The rash usually appears first on the face, chest, and back before spreading to other parts of the body. The blisters eventually break open, crust over, and form scabs. Fever. A mild to moderate fever often accompanies the onset of the rash, with temperatures ranging from 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit to 102.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius to 39 degrees Celsius. Headache. People with chickenpox may experience headaches, which can range from mild to severe. Fatigue and general malaise. Feeling tired and unwell is common during a chickenpox infection. Loss of appetite. A reduced appetite is another symptom that may be present in individuals with chickenpox. Muscle and joint pain. Some people may experience muscle aches or joint pain during the course of the infection. Swollen lymph nodes. Chickenpox can cause swelling of the lymph nodes, particularly in the neck, armpits, or groin area. It is important to note that the severity and duration of chickenpox symptoms can vary from person to person. Some individuals, particularly young children, may have a mild case with few symptoms, while others may experience more severe symptoms. 
Chickenpox is generally more severe in adults, newborns, and individuals with weakened immune systems. If you suspect you or your child has chickenpox, it is essential to consult a healthcare professional for proper diagnosis and treatment. In most cases, chickenpox can be managed at home with over-the-counter medications and self-care measures to alleviate symptoms, but severe cases or complications may require medical attention. Chickenpox is a viral infection, and there is no specific cure for the disease. The treatment for chickenpox primarily focuses on managing symptoms and providing relief to the patient while the immune system fights off the virus. Here are some measures that can help alleviate the symptoms of chickenpox. Rest. Ensure plenty of rest, as the body needs time to recover from the infection. Fluid intake. Drink ample fluids, such as water, juice, or broth, to stay hydrated and help prevent dehydration caused by fever. Fever management. Use over-the-counter fever reducers, such as acetaminophen, Tylenol, or ibuprofen, Advil, to manage fever and reduce discomfort. Note that aspirin should not be given to children or teenagers with chickenpox, as it can lead to a rare but serious condition called Rye syndrome. Calamine lotion. Apply calamine lotion or other over-the-counter topical creams to soothe itching and help dry out the blisters. Avoid using creams containing antihistamines, as they may worsen the rash. Cool baths. Take lukewarm or cool baths with added colloidal oatmeal or baking soda to help relieve itching. Antihistamines. Oral antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine, Benadryl, can be used to help reduce itching, especially at night. Loose clothing. Wear loose, lightweight clothing to minimize skin irritation and avoid scratching the rash. Trim fingernails. Keep fingernails short to prevent scratching and reduce the risk of secondary bacterial infections. In some cases, antiviral medications, such as acyclovir, may be prescribed for individuals at high risk for complications, including those with weakened immune systems, newborns, and adults. Antiviral medications should be started within the first 24 hours of the rash appearing to be most effective. If you or your child is experiencing severe symptoms or complications from chickenpox, it is essential to seek medical attention. Complications may include bacterial skin infections, pneumonia, or encephalitis, among others.